I'm Louise Hodges of GreenBugAllNatural.com and we're here to discuss ways to reduce bugs in the yard. The first thing to consider when wanting to reduce bugs is to make sure that all your plants are healthy. What I mean by that is you have to take into account their watering needs and their nutrition needs. You want to water them, but not too much. So you don't want to overwater, you don't want to underwater. As far as nutrition and fertilization, you want to make sure it gets plenty of nutrients and fertilization, but not too much, not too little either. If a plant is healthy and it has a balanced nutrition cycle, then it is going to be much healthier and able to ward off bugs. Now, as far as having the bugs that might bother you, such as mosquitoes, the most important thing to do there is to make sure that you eliminate their breeding grounds. One of the most important things to do is to eliminate standing water. Mosquitoes need only a mere tablespoon of water in order to produce more mosquitoes. So as long as you go around and periodically check your yard, especially after heavy rains, to make sure that there's no standing water, that's a great way to eliminate bugs that might bother you. If for some reason you get to the point where you have an infestation of some sort, what you'll want to do to address those bugs is to use something that is natural, that is effective, but is not going to be harmful to the environment. Most synthetic pesticides on the market today are non-selective, which means that they are just as likely to kill a butterfly or a honeybee as they are to kill a mole cricket or some or an aphid or something that you may not want. So you want to make sure that you're going to use something that's going to be beneficial to the environment, something that's green. One of the products I would recommend for that is Green Bug for Outdoors. So you would want to try to keep the bugs out of your yard in as natural way as possible. Okay, so let's go back over the steps again. To make sure your plants are as healthy as possible to eliminate bugs from that might hurt them, you want to make sure they're as healthy as they can be by monitoring their water and their fertilization needs. As far as the pests that might bother you, make sure that you eliminate any kind of habitats that are hospitable to them. And if you have a big problem and you need to deal with it, you want to use something that's safe, green, and eco-friendly. Now we've talked about ways to reduce bugs in the yard. I'm Louise Hodges with GreenBugAllNatural.com. Thank you for watching.